How did Thanos acquire the Mind Stone? No, I'm talking about when Thanos first got the Mind Stone. In Infinity War, you first find it in Vision's head. It was placed there by Ultron, who got it from Loki's scepter. Loki got the Mind Stone Enhanced Scepter from Thanos. So, prior to the events of the Avengers, Thanos was in possession of the Mind Stone. I am the Media Nuns, and here is a speculation video on how Thanos came into the possession of the Mind Stone prior to the Avengers. Let's look at Thanos' backstory. Thanos grew up on his homeworld of Titan. Thanos, according to the Titan himself, was concerned that Titan was running out of resources. In the comics, Thanos was also an outcast due to a genetic mutation that altered his appearance. His own mother tried to kill him over this. Whether or not this is canon in the MCU or not, it is obvious that Thanos did not have a lot of influence on his home world, so he did not have the Mind Stone then. I also don't believe that Thanos had a hand in wiping out Titan himself. It's not within his character to wipe out an entire civilization just to prove a point. At least not the MCU version anyway. I believe that Thanos did watch Titan experience a mass famine that ecology didn't allow the population to recover from. The only reason Thanos survived was because he was prepared. Yes, my teeth and ambitions are paired. Be prepared. But when he survived, Thanos was alone. That's a stark difference from when Thanos had the Shatari and possibly the Outriders at his disposal. The Scepter in the Avengers seemed to be pretty instrumental in controlling the Shatari as this deleted scene from the Avengers makes clear. This is a little resistance, a force lass. Finesse, our warriors are fearless. Welcome on glorious day. That may actually be the problem. Then lead them, King. You need a the scepter, do you not? The scepter. And despite the Shatari's fall in the original Avengers, there was sh still Shatari working for Thanos in Infinity War. I propose that at some point, the lone Thanos went to the Shatari homeworld, was awed at their abundant numbers, and worked to integrate himself into their society. He then discovered that, that the Shatari had the Mind Stone in their possession and he got himself into a position of power to acquire the Mind Stone. He then used it to slowly control their most influential leaders and public figures. As he was implementing his campaign, he built his apparatus in a huge flagship to bind the minds of the Shatari in an effort to cement his rule over them. That is how I propose Thanos acquired the Mind Stone. The rest, they say, is history. Now, I want to apologize to anyone who may have been waiting for my next video to appear. I have been at a coding bootcamp hosted by Revature. No, they did not pay me to mention them. However, the work they had me do was immense and it kept me busy for the last for the past 11 weeks. I also hoped to upload a video on why Thor should get some slack for not going for the head. However, that video fell apart quickly. I am, however, working on an Avengers 4 fan fiction I call Quantum Revenge. When I had time, I was working on resources for the various characters that would appear in it. Training is finally letting up a little, so I hope to have the first part of that fan fiction up within a month. Yes, I've even done the voice recordings for them a few weeks back. 
But what do you all think? Did Thanos get the Mind Stone from the Shatari and used it to control them? Did he get it through some other means? How was he able to keep control of the Outriders after losing the Mind Stone? Thanos demands you leave your thoughts in the comment section down below.